and able to, to grow at, I think, a pretty decent pace um, for, for a car company. It's like re really unprecedented for a car company to grow at, to have this level of uh, percentage growth. Um, we're going to try to maintain it for as long as possible, but it seems, um, as I've said before, uh, it seems likely uh, that we'll be able to maintain a roughly 50% uh, average growth rate uh, per year for several years to come. Um, now, it wouldn't necessarily be 50% every year, but 50%, I think, on average, is actually, uh, I think, quite an achievable uh, target. If, if we keep making progress, I think we may be able to get it out to early access customers, um, which is sort of our public beta program, um, around the end of this month. So that should be pretty cool. So this is sort of interesting in terms of looking at the North American market share of high-end premium sedans. We're actually the, the number one seller. Um, so we're, yeah. so we're really excited by this uh, because if we can take this level of success and um, extend it around the world, uh, there's really a lot of potential for sales growth for the, for the company. Uh, so with, with the Model X, uh, the long-awaited <laughs> Model X, um, so we're expecting to uh, begin our first deliveries in probably about uh, three or four months. Um, and uh, as, w as with the software, I'm, I'm looking at the latest iteration of the Model X every week. Um, and it really is, uh, it's turning out to be a really great car. I think um, the Model X may arguably be a better SUV than, than the Model S is a sedan. And, um, and we, we're, we're planning on sort of further upgrades to, to the supercharger system. Uh, we've just introduced an upgrade, which is a liquid-cooled cable, uh, which means that the cable can be really thin. In fact, we have the first uh, uh, working version of that here at the, at the Mountain View supercharger location, so you can try it out for yourself. It, it has caused some customers to be quite puzzled that they're plugging in a supercharger with this tiny cord, um, <laughs> and they thought something was wrong. But that's actually just our next generation cord. Uh, because if the cord is liquid cooled, you can actually make it very, very thin and supple. So instead of trying to wrestle a sort of a good sized snake into, um, <laughs> in, into the car, it's this thin, supple cord. It's really, really great. Um, and uh, it also has the potential for increased power of the supercharger long term. I'm very happy to announce that the, we, we've dramatically increased the power capability of the power wall. So it's actually going to go from, uh, the, the, for, from, being, from having a 2 kilowatt steady, 3.3 uh, kilowatt peak, to a 7 kilowatt power, a 5 kilowatt steady. Um, price is unchanged. We're bringing up the, the new uh, SX uh, body production line, uh, which uh, has also a lot more automation, greater flexibility, um, and uh, we should be able to do, uh, at least within the body line, about three times more than we're able to do in the, in the current body line. Uh, we also have a new paint center. Uh, this is quite a, a, a huge sort of uh, capital cost for us. And the new paint center is actually set up to be able to do uh, uh, 10,000 cars a week. So this paint center is uh, intended to be able to match the production level that includes the Model 3. So we, we can produce uh, all of the, we can paint all of the cars at the basically 500,000 unit per year level with this paint shop. And uh, to the best of our knowledge, this is going to be the most advanced uh, paint shop in the world. And we've, we've made um, quite, you know, quite good progress here. We expect to have phase one uh, builds and operating and producing battery packs by the middle of next year. Mark is actually going to be retiring uh, later this year. Um, and I wanted to just uh, call him off on stage and sort of personally thank Deepak for uh, and doing an incredible job over the last, I guess, seven years it's been um, through hell and high water um, and, uh, and staying sort of calm and steady through some incredibly difficult times. Uh, and, uh, yeah, just thank you very much uh, for everything you've done. Deepak's uh, going to be staying on through, well, for, for as long as it takes to, to find uh, uh, someone to find a new CFO, and then we'll, we'll be working with the new CFO to make the transition, so it should be a very smooth process. Uh, but I, I wanted to 
just bring Deepak, uh, Deepak up on stage and just uh, personally thank him for everything he's done for the company. He's done an amazing job. Thank you. And I, actually, it's, it's probably worth also elaborating on the, the Power Pack, uh, which we, we expect most of our activity to be with the Power Pack, not the Power Walls. So There's probably 80%, maybe more than that, of our total energy sales likely to be at the Power Pack level to utilities and to large industrial customers. Um, <clears throat> and uh, and, and that's, that's where the economics are, are very compelling because there's an important difference between price and cost. I, I'm cautiously optimistic that we'll have uh, order steer functionality out to early access customers by the end of this month. Oh, fantastic. Yeah. Uh, what I expect with, with SpaceX is that we'll probably go public once we have uh, regular flights to Mars. <laughs> the way it's looking, uh, the station, demand for stationary is higher than expected, so we are looking at potentially expanding the uh, output capability of the Gigafactory to meet the, the uh, higher demand for stationary. And I forgot like an important announcement. Uh, at 2 p.m. Uh, uh, today, we, we did our billionth mile for Tesla. So, uh, yeah. How's Model X looking in terms of safety and rollover? Yeah. So M Model X, I think, uh, will, will have the lowest probability of injury of any sedan. Um, it, it ha the tests haven't been completed yet, but it, I think it's, it's headed towards having the lowest probability of injury of, of, any, uh, oh, sorry, of any SUV. Um, and certainly the, the low center of gravity with the battery pack and the floor pan is incredibly helpful because the rollover um, um, susceptibility is extremely low. Um, it's very difficult to get the, the Model X to, to roll over. Uh, and um, and we've completed our internal, uh, almost all of our internal uh, crash tests, and it's, it's shaping up to be five star in every category and every subcategory uh, like the Model S. That's great. So. <laughs> Et cetera. Um, <laughs> <laughs>